Make sure you prep beforehand. Make things much easier. Cut up your meat. Cut up your vegetables. Get your mushrooms together. Get your oils. Get all the... That's just some brown sugar right here. We're using no olive oil. We're using vegetable oil. And we're using sesame seed oil later on. the whole purpose. Go ahead. Hi, y'all. Welcome to the episode of Married to Eats. Hey, I'm hungry, so pardon me. And we're going to be making chicken, mushroom, mm. chicken, broccoli. Go ahead, eat that ass. It got on his head. Chicken, broccoli, mushroom, stir fry. All these freaking long names for these recipes. Why can't it be simple? Why can't it just be chicken stir fry? That's basically well, what it is. Basically telling you all the ingredients, broccoli and mushroom. Yeah. But this is going to be from Goodful, because I guess everybody liked the Goodful. Everybody liked the chicken, lemon chicken, spaghetti squash. Yeah, this is for the healthy eats. Yeah, healthy eats. You know, I sound like a hypocrite with this taco in my hand, but. I don't even know why she eating before we even I'm start cooking. I'm hungry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm going to eat one taco. <laughs> But another update too, this might be the last time we're going to have bad quality on our video because we're about to get a new mic. And what else I need to go over? Oh yeah, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And I guess we're going to go ahead and get cooking. Y'all know the deal. Prices down below. I'm trying to think of everything that I can say. Because you usually want to be talking. We're doing all the talking. You said it all. Well, anyway, price is below. The recipe going to be below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Let's go. And if you like to see what we're all about, refer back to some of our other videos. Um, and they'll also be linked below. Make sure you prep beforehand. Make things much easier. Cut up your meat. Cut up your vegetables. Get your mushrooms together. Get your oils. Get all the... That's just some brown sugar right here. We're using no olive oil. We're using vegetable oil. And we're using sesame seed oil later on. <laughs> no spatula. No nothing. Alright. So what we're doing now is we're cooking chicken. I'm about to do it like they do in the um, restaurant. You please see don't burn me. I got the... Please don't burn me. Got the heat up there, you know what I mean? Let that heat up. Got it nice and hot. You blocking the camera. Woo, boy. Make sure you use all good hand washing techniques. Lord, it's about to be a YouTube fail. He gonna flip this out. Please stop. <laughs> still right there. What's up, man? Yeah, so right now we're just cooking the chicken. And um, we got this wok a couple years ago. Um, Ikea. Yeah, Ikea. I don't remember how much it cost, but of course Ikea is been expensive. So it's been lasting us a while and coming in handy. Chicken is done. I like my chicken with a little bit of brown on it. Now we're just going to set this to the side. I'm going to cook the mushrooms until they start to soften and then we're going to add in the broccoli florets Get some big mushrooms. Mm. make sure you wash your mushrooms you rinse them um, before you cook them these were like so cheap they came from aldi they were like a dollar twenty nine Now we are adding the broccoli and we're going to cook the broccoli until it's tender. So we added another tablespoon of oil. And now we're going to just saute the garlic. Um, two things about the ginger. One, we forgot it. Two, 
I had a bad experience with ginger. I mean, ginger is okay, but when I was when I used to make a lot of green smoothies, um, ginger is just so powerful that I was afraid to kind of use it in this recipe. So we're gonna use ground ginger um, instead, and we looked up the amount of ground ginger to use versus fresh um, ginger. So we're deviating a little bit. So we're not gonna add the ground ginger to here. We're just gonna saute the garlic first and then add in the sauce. We have put the remaining ingredients for the sauce. And we're going to mix it and cook this until it's done. Those clumps are the flour. I almost forgot the soy sauce. This is about to be real nasty. I'd even give it good for like a negative. <laughs> negative one. Yeah. Having a hard time breaking up the clump, the lumps of flour. I'm thinking maybe it was a little bit too much flour added. I don't think it was too much. I think. If you were to do this recipe, I would say make sure you add the flour in gradually instead of all at one time. But I still have lumps, even when I use a little bit sometimes. Like if you gradually mix it in, usually it'll avoid all these lumps. Right? Yeah, but the recipe didn't say to gradually add it. It said to add all the remaining uh, ingredients of the sauce. So that's what we've been doing. We get it's probably out. the longest part. Really up the whole recipe. So now we're adding everything back to the pan. Um, we got out as much flour lumps as we could, but we're hoping once we put the rest of the ingredients in that it'll go ahead and break all the way down. And then we're gonna cook until the vegetable and chicken are heated back up and then we are done. Show you the finished product in a second. Everything is now heated through. We are going to serve this over some rice. Stay tuned for our review. Mm -hmm. Ah, y'all, don't judge me. I try to make this as sexy as possible. You know what we go by. Hashtag no struggle plates. But still, in a way, kind of look like a struggle plate to me a little bit. But try to make it look like a little bit of something. All right, so y'all know what time it is. This is what y'all all been waiting for, ain't it? So let's get to it. This is the... Chicken, mushroom, chicken, broccoli, mushroom, mushroom stir fry. And it smells good, but we're going to see how it tastes. This, Don't. yeah, <laughs> it just, it, it's, it's, it's good, but it just tastes like stir fry. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I think I was expecting, I think I was expecting something different by following the recipe. I, I make stir fry a lot. I just don't follow this recipe. Yeah. When I'm lazy, I either use like the seasoning pack that you can find in the store or I pretty much use what they use um but it's good yeah it's good but i was expecting a more authentic taste like really you don't need to do all that stuff like you said you can take that seasoning pack that you typically get from the store 
grab your vegetables, mushrooms, and all that stuff, mix it all together, and get this. But the seasoning pack probably is packed with a lot of sodium. I never paid attention to the the back part of the seasoning yeah. pack. So this is a health, still a healthier option. And whenever I make my stir fry too, I add a lot of vegetables. I add carrots. Um, I add onion. Sometimes I add squash. Mm -hmm. Um, how much do I add? I had a lot of I had a lot of different vegetables like to have a little kick to it. So sometimes I may add red pepper flakes. If I don't add red pepper flakes, then I top it off with a little bit of sriracha sauce, or I add the sriracha sauce in the sauce while you're making it so that it cooks in it. And um, those little uh, what's the little curly things called? I forgot what they called. The noodles, the dry noodles. Lo mein noodles, mm -hmm. lo, mein, lo mein dry noodles. Mm -hmm. We also add those on top, and then if I'm trying to cut carbs and starch, then we just eat it without rice. Mm -hmm. Um, so personally, good food. I like mine better. You like mine better? Don't just say it because. No, I like yours better. <laughs> I do like yours better. But it might got, like I said, it might got some sodium or something in there. Yeah. It might got more sodium because this one really didn't call for no salt. It was just salt to taste. That was about it. And the salt, only salt is in this is from the soy sauce. Soy sauce. And, and that we was, actually got the low sodium. Yeah, and I sauce. think that was the recipe called for too, low sodium soy sauce. And the sauce. chicken broth, but we still use low sodium, sodium. chicken broth yeah. too. Mm -hmm. um, I would make this again. But my version with the more vegetables. So I would definitely take the sauce part of this recipe and just add in a sriracha sauce. Um, so for me, for taste, I give it a 3.5 just because I think it should have... Give it a 10 scale. Okay, out of 10, I give it a 7 because it needs some more vegetables. <laughs> Cost is a 10 out of 10 because it was very cheap to, to, to buy all these ingredients. Um, even if you didn't have any of these things, you could probably have get all of these things for under fifteen dollars and have leftovers. For easiness, I will give it a nine for easiness. Mm -hmm. um, the only hard part about this was breaking down the flour, which, as we stated before, if you slowly, gradually add in the flour, it should uh, fix that problem. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna give the same thing on. I think all your scores. I want to say that the taste, I'm going to give it a 7. No. I'm going to give the taste a 6. Reason being is I can make this without going through all the hassle. That's it. Well, I wouldn't say it's a hassle. It was easy to cook, but I can take the same package out of the store, mix in the oils or whatever I need, and get this same type of taste. So that's why I'm going to give it a 6. But it was very easy to cook. So with the scale that you gave for cost and the actual um, easiest to cook, I'm going to give it the same scores. Yeah, you can so. definitely have this on the table within 30 minutes. And even with my recipe, I also use sesame oil too. I think I actually used sesame oil to cook the chicken in before. I can't remember what I... I haven't cooked it in a little while, but... So we're... we're I'm still going to cook stir fry not this exact recipe mm -hmm. um use the sauce and add in my extra the sriracha sauce and the lo mein noodles and of course add in all the vegetables that i use sometimes i even put in um mm, bean sprouts Bro. my mind went blank i don't like, I don't like bean sprouts <laughs> i love though. bean sprouts so sometimes i put in bean sprouts it's really hard to find bean sprouts Comment below if you can tell me where to find bean sprouts. Because I promise I haven't seen them in Kroger unless I, they were in the organic section. But, um, yeah. Well, I guess that's going to end the review. Uh, comment below if you tried the recipe and let us know how you like it. Um, like, share, subscribe to the channel. And you'll be looking forward to other cooking recipes. What we got coming up? We got we got a vlog coming, coming up. up. Yep. Yep. We we going on a little Valentine's Day hey. little mini getaway. Yeah. So we got something like that coming up for you. Um, we got our cruise video, one of our old cruise videos that we're gonna bring back up, and we're just gonna talk over it and let y'all know what we was doing. 
So make sure you like and subscribe because you're going to be seeing all that stuff later on. So And follow us on all social media. We're yep. very, very active on Facebook and Instagram. Yes. So make sure you follow us there too. And we just got a new Pinterest for our Married to Eat. So make sure you look for us on that too. So good night. Good night. And thank you for watching.